have completed my degree in people and computer applications. I come from Hyderabad. Uh, my question is, is that that compulsory for a civil servant to work under a minister or a politician as a chief secretary or chief assistant, whatever? What else do you envision? Supposing you were given an option, what would you think is a preferable approach? So having a lot of knowledge to him, why is that necessary to scientific and all? Uh, but this, with the help of civil servant and the suggestions, whatever they do, as they are uh, more capable of knowing the people, uh, I don't think so that he or she should work under a minister. Okay. The examiner was very kind that day because his wife could not fight with him. <laughs> and he was a little bit of compromise. He learned a few comments. I can guarantee a large number of politicians, even the bad ones, have fairly good understanding of many issues, maybe much more understanding than you and I. Because they deal with thousands of people in the day. It's not easy to deal with people in a fractious democracy. And then put them, put them together. So first, you must respect the democratic process. This content for democracy is not the answer. I mean, but as the harshest critic of what is wrong with our democracy, I never waver. But you must respect the democratic process. Never doubt that you cannot have content for democracy and then serve a democratic state. It's a very dangerous approach. And approach many civil servants follow, and therefore most of them fail spectacularly. Doesn't mean that you submit to their will practice. Doesn't mean that you violate the basic principles of public governance. It doesn't mean that you compromise on principles. No. It means that you respect the process. Second, you like it or not, legitimacy, and mark my words very carefully. Legitimacy in a democracy comes from the people and people alone. Whether you are in a bureaucracy or in judiciary, what is the judiciary saying today? We will appoint ourselves because we are superior. We are independent. Nonsense. They are wrong. For the time being, they may prevail because the parliament is weak. The parties are not united. They fight each other too much. They hate each other so much that they forget the fundamentals of democracy, but they are wrong. I am the architect of the 1979th Amendment of the Constitution, whereby the National Judicial Commission was created. Entirely, my day took me five years. The Supreme Court, in a self serving judgment, crashed it. The court is wrong. For the time being, the court will prevail because I don't want a civil war between Parliament and the Supreme Court. But the point I'm making is every single functionary in the Indian state must derive legitimacy from the people directly or indirectly through the representatives of the people. Every other organ is terrible. You are not swayam No matter how bright you think you are, just because you got into civil services, you are not a swayam You are a creature of the constitution. You are accountable to the people. In this case, indirectly through the people's representatives and elected power. The moment you forget that, you are no longer functioning in a democratic constitution. It is both the height of arrogance and ignorance. Fair enough. Now, the challenge that you are forced with is how do you deliver? No. How do you say no and be lazy and accomplish nothing? The chairman and I were discussing in a way here. Tell me which political government stopped for this, stopped the civil service from delivering good quality education. Can you all tell me that your college education has put it in those It stinks. Why? Is it because of politicians? No. It's because of your teachers, educational administrators, and the bureaucrats. Whom are you blaming? There are a whole lot of areas where politics doesn't play much of a role. The civil services fail the country. As much as the politicians, actually more than the politicians. So to revise your views, there are times when electric governments have no role, presidents rule or the municipalities are superseded and officially paid in charge. There is no evidence that they did a better job. 